YouTube, what up? Welcome once again to the EXO One Workshop. Got a couple of updates for you. Uh, first, let's do this is the tap money slash that got crashed up. Uh, got the body finished. I'm going to keep the um, Will Wells uh, and I'm not going to cut them out. Um, there's enough space in there for it to turn. It might rub it here and there within the turns, but other other than that, going straight, uh, everything is good. There's plenty of room on both sides, so I'm gonna leave that there to make it more aerodynamic. Lessen my chances of the car getting flipped up in the air. Everybody hates when that happens. The other side of it. Paint job came out pretty good. This is uh. Took a while to do these cars, man. I've been nipping and nabbing at it slowly but surely. So this one's pretty much ready. And the second car, which I painted the same, this body right here is um from Delta Plastics. It's the McLaren 2 body. It's the same as the orange one that I call the Magnum PI body. Same body as this. It looks a lot nicer. And same exact body right here. Side of the let the front windows come out the back looks kind of nice like that. I really like this. Uh, the second car is drum roll the Vorza. That's not a Vorza anymore. I made a Vorza GT out of it, and this body right here is from Delta Plastics. Also, this is the Toyota. Uh, seven, the Toyota 172 body came on there perfect fit real nice fit get that in there real nice fit on there everything is pretty much good to go so let's go over it so I made it a Vorza GT um, I converted it from this, which I maxed out and couldn't get anything out of it. So it was time to up my game, which I did. And I, Mr. Dave Chappelle, I went all out, baby. I ain't even gonna lie. I did the daggone thing. I went all out on it. Uh, so we got the cat pack, had a lot of parts laying around. This cat pack came from the R snake, uh, but, uh, this came from, um, uh, RC Hornet. Um, man, I'm excited about this one. Um, got the battery trays on there. Let me, it up. Let me get the battery trays on there. Got the straight ones. Um... Saga Customs, thank you very much, appreciate it. Told you I'd get them to work. Got those on there. Uh, let me turn it around. Turn this baby around, it's got a little weight to it. Um, I mounted the XLX in there. I was going to put it on top, but um, it didn't have to. I figured the lower it is to the body, the center of gravity. I mean, I know it's a little car, a little toy, but that might make a difference. Um, I lay it down on the floor. Um, Everything is ran pretty clean, unfortunately. I usually don't do clean work like this. I mean, you know, I'm, I just want to get the daggone thing to work. Get everything to work and get it out there and get them speeds, man. Got everything in there real good. Got to focus that in. Got it mounted. Pretty nice. Got my batteries on there. Uh, I got my uh, SP40s on here. And uh, believe it or not, this bumper is from the, let me see, from the Mugen. Fits pretty good. That's dead on right there. Dead on fit. Uh, the Mugen electric, dead on fit. Only thing you gotta do is, uh, those two bolts right there, you're going to have to drill through the uh, uh, shock tower 
and kind of do your own thing from that point on. Just make sure you got it nice and centered so the bumper don't look too crazy and crooked. But other than that, this is it's a pretty, pretty good fit. It'll definitely take you to the point of it being doable. You don't have to do too much, um, you know, cutting and all that stuff. Uh, let's see, let's power this baby up. I just did some settings on it. Um, just the uh, drag brake, uh, you know, motor timing and all that stuff. I didn't realize when I got the ESC, I, I didn't even get it set up, man. I had no drag brake or nothing on it. I thought I had adjusted it, but. Alright, what's going on? Alright, let me turn it off, turn it back on. There we go. I'm taking this baby outside tonight, man. So we got 8S on here, 8S on a Warza. She's whiny. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go take her outside and uh, do a couple of little runs right quick to see what's going on but that's it man got the Vorza turned that into a GT body everything came out good with it we got a slash 4x4 down here rebuilt um, pretty much she's ready to go take her out tomorrow and see what's going on with that and uh, maybe I might get a surprise uh, uh, new PB tomorrow Anyway, I will be making a video for it, so, uh, you know, if there's anything exciting, I'll let you guys know what's going on. Until then, have a good night. Peace out, YouTubers.